Welcome back, family. Today is day six. If this is your first time with us, I have challenged myself to post one per day for at least 30 days. So please do like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, so we started the morning with a mango and pineapple smoothie and then got into some fresh watermelon. This is my husband cutting this up. And we always kind of go back and forth because he'll cut it up and put it in the fridge. And I love my fruits room temperature. Like for me, watermelon is the best when we cut it just from it being out. I do not like it cold. Same with pineapple and pretty much any melons. Um, so I wanted to grab some before he put it in the fridge. But we go back and forth about this. How do you guys like your fruit? Do you like it best room temperature like me or do you have to have it ice cold? Let me know down below. All right, so then I made a pancake. I um, was trying to make it like a birthday cake pancake. So this is gluten-free flour and then I used some uh, sprinkles. We have some natural sprinkles. I was out of vanilla, so I'm not sure how birthday cake like it was, but it was okay. So then my uh, children had a little mid-morning snack, which was just these pretzels. They're really quick and fast. The ingredients on them are pretty good. And so um, they snacked on that while they did their own thing. And um, I forgot to tell you that at the end of this video, I have a soup um, that I put together and it, it was not this day, this was another day, but I forgot to add it in my previous videos and it was too delicious not to share so I added it at the end of this video um, so I just wanted to let you know before we get there okay so then I put together a big plate of nachos with some leftovers and for me I mean I call these bootleg nachos because I did not make a cheese sauce first I just put the cheese on there you know most of the time I make a sauce then put it on but this way I was just gonna pop them in the oven so I used the leftover black beans and crumbles there, added some more toppings, popped them in the oven, and um, melted them down. Of course, added fresh lettuce. We, um, my daughter and I love fresh lettuce on our tacos and our nachos. It's just not the same without it, so I always have to put a ton of fresh lettuce. So my daughter and I shared these. My son actually does not like chips or popcorn, so he opted out. But we shared these, and um, oftentimes I'm sharing plates of food with my children. Um, and that's just kind of how we do it. Cut down on making several plates, and also they seem to want things more when it's on my plate. But um, I'm just showing my kombucha here. Let me know down below, you guys. If you would like me to go full on into my kombucha making, my kombucha brewing, these are my two brews I have. They are uh, ready now, so I'm um, pouring them into bottles and double fermenting. But if you want more information about that, let me know below. Um, I also have some information about how I make scobies and start my brew on my website I'll link that below as well but man I mean I could go on and on about kombucha so if it's something you guys are interested in definitely let me know a little kitty break there and then we hop on into some sliders 
I made these for the fam um, on the pretzel buns because again gluten free so no pretzel buns for me but um, we had some fresh corn the fresh corn I had got in the grocery delivery the other day and so I just popped that in I'm gonna add a little butter and lemon pepper seasoning to that and that's it and then do some beyond burgers cheese for some of us um, or not some of us but um, a couple uh, my daughter and my husband like cheese on theirs and then we'll have the sliders and corn So I know every family is like this. Everybody likes something different. So I've got a whole assembly line going on. Some want, you know, pickles, some don't, some ketchup, some don't, and on and on. But um, I just wanted to show these pickles. This was the first time we had these, and they are so good. They're really thick, and it tastes um, like it hasn't been pickling long because you got that huge snap of the cucumber they're super crunchy super flavorful we'll definitely get them again some things um i've been getting in grocery delivery is not what i would usually get but i'm glad i did this is how i'm having mine on a lettuce wrap or lettuce bun i guess and then my husband or my husband my son wanted a hot dog as well so he's going to have that too so this is what I was talking about. This is that delicious soup I forgot to add in one of my previous videos. My son and I actually had this for breakfast one day. I don't know, I got up and was really craving a good spicy sort of um, soup. And so I put this together and it was so delicious. Um, so it's just onion as you've seen there, some garlic. Uh, sauteed in coconut oil I've added some rotel and water and then um, some celery seed cumin garlic and onion powders a bay leaf and some oregano as well Added in some hominy and cooked it down and it turned out delicious um so that is it that's my surprise soup at the end <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching uh, definitely do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow in the next video all right bye